क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स स्टेशनरी मास ऑफ वन के जी इज पुल्ड अलॉन्ग ए फ्रिक्शन लेस थ्री मीटर इंक्लाइंड प्लेन बाई ए कॉन्स्टेंट फोर्स ऑफ सिक्स न्यूटन ओके देर इज नो फ्रिक्शन हियर फ्रिक्शन इज इक्वल टू जीरो हियर एट द टॉप ऑफ द प्लेन द मास हैज बीन डिस्प्लेस बाय वन मीटर वर्टिकली हियर यू हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओवर हियर सो दिस इज वन मीटर ओवर हियर यू आर पुलिंग इट अंटिल हियर ओके वॉट इज द स्पीड ऑफ द मास ऑफ द टॉप ऑफ द इंक्लाइन वट इज द स्पीड ऑफ दिस पॉइंट सी वेन यू हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन द ग्राउंड एंड इज नो फ्रिक्शन एंड यू वॉन्ट टू लिफ्ट इट दिस मच what should you do it should be going against the gravitational potential energy so therefore the potential energy that you need for you to lift the object from here to here is nothing but mgh which should be equal to what is mass mass is 1 kg multiplied by 10 multiplied by h 1 so this should be equal to 10 joules this is the amount of energy you need to supply minimum amount of energy you need to supply so that you are lifting it by the side now let us find out whether you are applying so much amount of energy here So what is the energy here? This should be this should be force six newton multiplied by one, which is equal to six joules over here, right? Ah, uh, sorry, six newton multiplied by three here. Distance is three here, right? Which should be eighteen joules over here. So how much extra you are applying? You are applying an extra energy of eighteen joules minus ten joules. Eighteen joules minus ten joules because ten joules you need to apply whatever it is, okay? But still you are applying more energy, which means eight joules extra you are applying. Now this eight joules, where does it go? It goes in increasing the speed of the particle. Now what we will do is, let us say this eight joules is equal to a half m v square. Now m is equal to one, so half into one into v square is equal to eight, which means v square should be equal to sixteen. V should be four meter per second. So this should be your answer. B is your answer.